Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back guys. Today's video is actually gonna be all about marriage. I put a poll on my Instagram story and a lot of people expressed some interest in this topic. So Zach and I decided that we are going to tell y'all about why we love marriage and also to show y'all that there's no such thing as a perfect marriage. No matter what you see online, everyone has their own struggles and hardships that they have to overcome. We have been married for almost three years now and we wanted to share some of the things that we've learned and some of the things we've been through. So that's what this video is gonna be about. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe, like, and comment. We'd love to hear feedback and interact with y'all. Also, I wanted to remind y'all, if y'all didn't see my video from last week, I actually designed a t-shirt collection and I'm wearing one of my shirts today and I have a whole video about it. So if you wanna go back and watch that, go a few videos back and I'll leave the link to purchase one in the description below. So first we're gonna start off on a positive note and tell y'all all the things that we personally love about marriage. First and foremost, I wanted to point out that our marriage is faith-based. We are both Christians. It's a big part of who we are. And we just try to live that out in our marriage. We're not perfect by any means, but I think that's the foundation of what we wanted to build our marriage upon and whenever we were getting married, that was a very important thing for both of us, yeah, that we absolutely. were on the same page with our religion and yeah. our relationship with Jesus. We make sure that we keep him at the center of our relationship. So something that we have really learned to appreciate in marriage is enjoying each other's company because if you don't know, we did long distance for quite a while before we were able to get married because Zach got drafted to go play professional baseball whenever he was 17, so right out of high school, and then I went to college in Texas, so he moved across the country to Florida. I stayed behind and went to college in Texas, and we did long distance for three and a half years while he kind of moved around all over the country, and it was very, very difficult and very straining on our relationship, and it was something we struggled with for a really long time. Yeah. Speaking of long distance, right before I got married, I was living in Australia, and I got to come home two weeks before we got married which is pretty insane yeah so we literally went from living on opposite sides of the world to getting married two weeks later and moving in together for the first time ever we didn't actually live together until we were married we went from spending very little time together to spending all of our time together yeah. and that was definitely an adjustment as well but we've really learned to appreciate each other's presence now we get to spend so much time together especially during quarantine we've been with each other yeah every single day <laughs> it's been great sometimes we want to rip each other's head off yeah i think that's with every marriage it gets a time where you do need your alone time oh, and yeah. we have a balance of yes for spending sure. our time together and i get to do what i want to do and she gets to do what she wants to do which is healthy I think it's very healthy. I would say we're both definitely very independent. Independent in some ways. Yeah, we're independent in certain ways. Some of us um, aren't. <laughs> Another thing that I really love about our marriage is it's always an adventure. And Cameron is probably more adventurous than I am. Uh, so she kind of she kind of pulls it out of me, yeah. or she kind of drags me around. I would say and uh, which I love that. I get to do stuff that I probably wouldn't do if I was by myself, uh, but since we're married, I get to I get to go and tag along, I guess. I drag him around on all of my crazy adventures. I always have these wild ideas and I just wanna like act on them. Definitely have this really big desire to travel and I just wanna see every single part of the world. Like it could be this tiny little town and I'm like, ooh, let's go explore it. Or a new restaurant, let's go try it out. I always wanna try new things. And I would say Zach is more like the cautious one, which is really great because we balance each other out in that way as well. I would definitely say that we have some pretty interesting adventures. Yeah. So another wonderful thing about being married is companionship and just always having someone there for you, someone that always has your back. If you have a bad day, you have someone to come home to, and that's something in the past, like when we were doing long distance, even, I don't know, just like when we were younger and we were single, like you have your friends and everything, but being married is just a completely right. different type of companionship. It's just so nice always having someone there for you no matter what. Right, always having someone there to listen to you if you have a bad day. Mm -hmm. Uh, to comfort you even if we're just in the same room and we're not even talking to each other. It's just nice to have someone there, there. 
Yeah. Yeah. The thing I love about our marriage is our stability in each other. So with our lifestyle, we move around a lot. That's why we bought a camper. Mm -hmm. um, so we never really know what's going on in our life or where the next chapter of our life is taking us. So having stability in your spouse is huge. Yeah, especially with Zach's career with minor league baseball, you can be told less than 24 hours in advance that you have to move across the country. And you just have to pack up and go. Yeah. So you never really know how long you're gonna be in one place. And especially during this time period with everything that's going on, the future is just unknown. It's a mystery to us right now. We don't know what we're gonna be doing in a few months. So we just kind of always feel like we have an unstable life in that aspect, but we do find stability in each other. Our lives are constantly changing, but we know that one thing that's always constant is our relationship with each other. That's right. Yeah, so those are some of the positive things that we both love about marriage, and there are so many great things I could honestly go on and on, even though these past three years have been a test and have been hard in so many aspects, they've also been three of the happiest years. Yeah. I'm gonna talk about some of the hardships that we have gone through in our marriage just to show you that our marriage isn't perfect. There's not one single perfect marriage out there. If this can help even one person realize that every relationship you see online isn't as flawless as it looks, then we are happy to share. So something we both had to learn was that once you are married, you constantly have to be thinking about the other person. We dated for over five years before we got married, and I would say we thought about each other a lot. We were always pretty good about putting the other person's needs as a priority, but once you get married, it becomes so much more important to prioritize the other person above almost every single thing in your life. Like we said earlier, we are Christians, so I do think it's important to keep our faith and our relationship with God as number one priority, but then literally right after that is your spouse, and we both kind of struggled with that at times. Yeah. So Zach dealt with some of that whenever myself and Charlie started traveling with him for yeah. baseball for the first time. For the first three years of my career, I was by myself, so all I had to do was think about myself. Cameron was halfway across the country, and we didn't have our dog yet. And I did my own laundry, I cooked for myself, I bought my own groceries just for one person. I was just very self-sufficient and independent. I didn't have to worry about anything else. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely an adjustment. Right after we got married, Charlie and I started traveling with Zach a couple weeks after, and it makes it so much more difficult to find places to live because before that, he was able to live with just a bunch of guys, a bunch of players, and just easily share an apartment or live in someone else's house. It was just a lot easier. He stayed in some hotels with other players. Like, it was just much simpler for him. And then when we started traveling, we always had to search so hard yeah. to find a place for all of us to live. Especially with it being pet friendly as well. Yeah, we had to make sure everything was pet friendly, which also was a huge dilemma yeah. staying in hotels. So I would say one of the absolute hardest things we dealt with was finances because as you know, Zach's a minor league baseball player, and this is something you might not know, but they don't get paid that much money, especially not enough to support two people and a dog. So we struggled a lot in the beginning because I graduated college two weeks before our wedding, and then I got married and started traveling with Zach. It was gonna be extremely hard to find a job that I would be able to keep while traveling around the country with my husband. So I knew I needed to find something that would let me work remotely, but also I wanted to find something that I actually enjoyed that was really important to me so that's a big reason why I decided to start blogging and content creating and that's kind of you know how my career started with that but you should know that I did not make a dime off of my Instagram and content creating until almost six whole months of doing it I was pretty much just doing it for a hobby and Zach didn't really understand what I was doing he was like why are we taking pictures all yeah. the time this doesn't make sense like you at, know at first I was kind of frustrated a little bit with her job I guess in the beginning because yeah. um, I really didn't see it as a job and then now further down the line I see it more as a career yeah and I think that's great and I think it's awesome that she gets to travel uh, and do what she loves to do mm -hmm. and 
we both get to do what we love to do. It's also a really cool thing about our relationship is that we both do completely different things. He's a professional athlete and I'm a photographer and content creator on social media. Complete opposite careers, but somehow we both make them work. We both love what we do and we love that the other person loves what they do. It's definitely something I really admire about our relationship. So yeah, finances was definitely a struggle and I think it's something that still comes up in our relationship. Yeah. I wouldn't say that we're just so financially free at this yeah. point in our lives, but we're definitely doing a lot better and we've learned from some of our mistakes, things that we've spent money on that we probably shouldn't have. Just kind of learning how to be better with money is something that can help a relationship out a lot. Something that we had to deal with in our first year of marriage was since I was unable to get a job for the first, you know, half of a year of us being married and I started getting a couple little paychecks here and there from blogging, but they were very small. Like I was getting like $50 for a post a couple times a month. So not really enough to contribute to our income. So halfway through the 2018 season, I ended up tearing my labrum and I had to go through rehab for about six months. A pretty big struggle on our marriage. There's a lot that went down. I was pretty down in the dumps because of I was injured I couldn't play I couldn't do my job we were already struggling a little bit financially before all this happened and then within the span of a month Zach got seriously injured and couldn't play baseball so he started having to rehab I had a medical emergency and I ended up having you know to go back and forth to the hospital for a few weeks getting all kinds of scans and tests done and then in the midst of all that Charlie our golden retriever had an accident and she ate some Clorox wipes and got severely sick and we had to take her to the emergency vet and she had to get her stomach pumped and all this other stuff so our medical bills piled up so high and we decided as a couple that the best thing to do was for me to go home to texas and get a job so i could help pay for the medical bills and also just to support ourselves because he was doing rehab and could not do anything else and so i went home to texas and we did over two months of long distance marriage and I would definitely say that has been one of the hardest things yeah. that we did during our marriage. We went through such a hard period of time before we got married dealing with long distance and we were both so excited for after our wedding because we were like, we will never have to do long distance again. We survived it, we're done, we're gonna be together forever. And then it felt like the world came crashing down because we had all these bills piling up. I couldn't find a job that would support me to work remotely. And so we just decided the best and smartest decision for ourselves was to do long distance for a little bit. I went home and found a job and I was able to save up some money so that I could start traveling with him again. And then honestly, it was a huge blessing because right around this time, my social media started taking off. I was able to start making enough money to where I could consider it a real career. And it's only just grown from then and that's been about two years now. So I feel very blessed in that area of my life because it is something I'm very passionate about, but it also provides an income so that we can keep our family together. So something about our marriage that wasn't very traditional is that in the first two years of being married, we actually lived with roommates and we've had a ton of different roommates over the past two years. And as much as I have loved most of the people that we lived with over the years, it was extremely difficult to be married and live with other people. Mm -hmm. Typically, whenever you get married, you just expect to be living with your spouse. You don't really expect to be living with each other's families or living with mm -hmm. teammates, random roommates, the teammates, girlfriends, wives, and their animals. And that's just not typically how it works whenever you get married. So I would say that was something that was very untraditional about our marriage. And honestly, so many baseball couples have to go through that. So it's kind of normal in the baseball yeah. world. And we became really great friends with a lot of the roommates we lived with. Yeah. And I think at the same time, it was weird, but it's also, you know, it's, it's an experience that yeah. is unique. I think we definitely learned a lot from it, but if we had to choose, we probably right. would we prefer. We would probably live by ourselves like yeah. any other married couple would probably do. So another reason why we love our camper yeah. is it allows us to just live with each other That's and right. our Charlie girl. Another struggle for me in our marriage was, I guess at the beginning when you started to blog, 
um, I had to help. And like we said earlier, I didn't really understand why we were doing this. And we weren't making any money. And I was very confused. Best way I can explain it is that we were working and not getting paid. And we were working a lot of hours. A lot we were of hard hours. Yes. A lot of pictures. <laughs> We were taking so many hours out of our week to go shoot outfits. We were buying props. We were spending money on gas to drive to locations for cool photo shoots. There's just a lot of time and effort that goes into the planning, into the equipment, into the time spent shooting, looking for locations. We were spending money on, you know, things for the photos. So it was kind of like we were investing money into this hobby because it wasn't a career at the time and we were investing our time and we weren't really getting anything in return which looking back now i'm so glad we did it ended up blossoming into an awesome yeah, career and it's exactly. perfect for our lifestyle really it all worked out but at the time he didn't understand so we definitely struggled to balance each other's career and then part of my struggle with his career as a baseball player is that we were constantly having to move and we couldn't really put down roots anywhere. I kind of want to know like what my future holds to some extent and you can't really do that with baseball. We were actually living in Kentucky the spring of 2018 and Zach was in Michigan playing a baseball game and I had traveled down to Destin, Florida with a couple of the other baseball girls and while I was there and he was in Michigan he called me and was like we have to be in Tampa, Florida by tomorrow. We got to meet back in Kentucky, pack up our apartment and move. Yeah. So that's just an example of how like wishy-washy and inconsistent the baseball life is. It was just kind of like the struggles with that, but I've definitely adapted to it a lot more. Yeah, pretty crazy if you think about it, but at the time you think your life is getting twisted upside down. Mm -hmm. And now looking back at it, it's, it's pretty cool that, yeah. that, uh, that we get to do that. That was a crazy year. It's honestly all about mindset. If you have the mentality that you're so lucky to have the opportunity to live this kind of lifestyle, then it'll just change your whole perspective on it. Yeah. Yeah, but even though we both have kind of struggled at times to find a healthy balance with both of our careers, I would say overall we're both like very supportive of one another's career. Yeah. Zach is always down to help me film YouTube videos, to help me shoot content. Even though sometimes he might complain about it a little bit, he always does it willingly. So I'm very thankful for that. Yeah, and Cameron always shows up to my baseball games that aren't being played right now. <laughs> Every time that I do have to go and hit or throw during this time because we, we don't have any games, she uh, lets me off the hook. <laughs> and I get to go and, and I guess work. I will never complain about Zach going to work out or going to throw or anything that involves baseball because I know that he's just investing in his career and that's what he loves and I want him to do as good as he can do at his job. Yeah. You usually plan around each other though for yeah. the most part. Mm -hmm. Especially we only have one car. We have my truck right now and so we do have to kind of plan ahead or a couple days ahead if i have something going on i have to go throw or hit and she needs uh you know a picture taken then i try and schedule it around her to throw one last thing oh, in yeah. there one really hard thing about our marriage is that we share zach's truck so yeah, i don't actually have a vehicle i'm sure i've mentioned that before but Zach has a truck, which we pull our camper with, and that's our one vehicle. So we usually go everywhere together, or Zach drives me and drops me off places, or if you know he's not using the truck, then I get to borrow it. But that has been, oh my gosh, such yeah. a hard thing that we have done in our marriage, and we might actually be getting me a car soon. Fingers so, crossed. So yeah, fingers crossed, we stay need, tuned. We need to get you a car. <laughs> I'm the Uber driver. <laughs> yeah, Zach is my Uber driver. All right, so that is gonna wrap our video all about marriage up, and we hope that you enjoyed watching it. If you want to see more videos like this, let us know because yeah. I think it was like a pretty open and honest video. We'd love to do them. We love to answer all your questions, so leave us some questions below, and we will see y'all in our next video. Bye. All right, that's gonna do. It. That's going to do it for today's video. I wanted to do it. I, I never okay. get to do it. Okay, do it. All right, the, all right so that's going to wrap today's video up. <laughs> Good job. <laughs>